Hello everyone. Today's topic is Spatial Network Big Data Approach for Emergency Management Information System. The goal of this presentation is to provide a key research problem in the area of Spatial Network Database and Data Mining. I'm an assistant professor at Florida Atlantic University. So here's the agenda. First, I'll briefly introduce the concept of Spatial Network Big Data. Next. I will talk about Spatial Network Big Data Database Management System. Then, we will learn about Emergency Management Information System. After that, I would like to introduce the couple of research problem of Spatial Network Query and Spatial Data Mining. Lastly, I will provide a take-home message. Spatial Network Big Data has the potential to transform our society via next generating routing service. Example, example of this kind of special network of big data include a temporary detailed roadmap that provides speed every minute for ro every load segment, GPS trace data from cell phone, and engine measurement of fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emission. However, uh, special network of big data poses a significant challenge as the size, variety, and update rate of mobile data set exceed the capacity of a commonly used spatial computing and spatial database technology to learn, manage, and process the data with reasonable effort. I will give an example of spatial network big data. UPS has collected a large amount of data from the vehicle and then analyzed the trajectory pattern. It turns out that if you can minimize the left turn when you drive the car, then we can significantly reduce the fuel consumption. Now, UPS used the most cost-efficient route to deliver or pick up the package and save a lot of money. As you know, we can expect that connected vehicles utilize various sensors and produce a large amount of qualified data set. Now, my question is, how to collect and analyze this data set to provide a better service and change the world. So here's a big picture of SMBD database management system. SMBD database management system consists of three main parts. First, conceptual model. Second, logical model. And last, physical model. So we will learn about these kinds of model in detail, but Generally, we focus on logical model and then how to design and query or some data mining and technical processing technique. Emergence management information system is the framework and the database for providing useful information to prepare for response to and recover from significant multi hazard threat with the minimum damage to public safety and the health and the economy and security. One of a good example is evacuation route planning system. We live in Florida and we know that why evacuation is important during hurricane season. To increase the, uh, to increase the resilience against the potential threat, the main goal of emergence management information system is to timely utilize spatial and network data set about location of a hazard area, shelter and resources, and how to respond to emergency situation. If we utilize the potential power of a spatial network database and data mining technique, we can advance the emergence management information systems. So here we can see the high-level picture of data-driven model and then optimization technique. So we collect the spatial network big data from various sensors. In left hand side, you can see. And we store the analyze this data set using spatial network database system. Then we can use spatial network query to provide useful information, including evacuation route and resource allocation plan. Then potentially the system provide a feedback to the sensor to increase the accuracy of the collected data set. So you heard about data mining. Actually, data mining is kind of a special quarry. In 1970, many researchers developed various database 
system and a quarry. Between 1980 and 1990, many industrial companies collect large size data and try to analyze these data set. That time, they need an advanced storage model to harness multi-dimensional data set and design a data warehousing to efficiently process a large size data set. In 1990, given a large size data set, many people realized that they need an advanced quarry to identify interesting patterns from data set. Now we can see that data mining is one of the hottest research topics in computer science. Now, I would like to briefly introduce the two spatial network query and one data mining query for emergency management information system. The first one is evacuation route planning. Previously, I emphasized on the importance of evacuation route planning. During evacuation, one of the main goals is to minimize the traffic congestion and also minimize the travel time. A research problem, we need, to we need to formulate the problem mathematically. Here's one example of evacuation route planning problem. Given a transportation network and road capacity and evacuate, the output is the evacuation route. The objective is to minimize the evacuation time. So here we have some constraint. Every route should satisfy the road capacity. The problem is challenging. So we need to consider novel idea to quickly identify evacuation route. Here is our approach to produce the evacuation route. Assume that the big red circle is the evacuation zone and we need to move out of evacuation zone. As you can see here, we can partition the transportation network using circular cut. In this example, evacuate in node A, B, C, F, G, J, K, and L will go first outside of the evacuation zone. Then evacuate in nodes D, E, H, and I can move. Now you can conceptualize this kind of movement using tree structure, and then in bottom, you know, in bottom, so we can see, we can parallel process the evacuation route. So let me give a real world example. We define the evacuation zone in Florida Athletic University. We can see the evacuation route and evacuation time. So that's one of some, you know, simple example. Let's move on Key West. When we run this kind of algorithm, we can clearly see the bottleneck of traffic flow. In this example, the dense blue color is the main bottleneck. So you can see, you know, this kind of dense, yeah, blue, yeah, color. Now let's consider massive evacuation in Cape Cod. You can see the dense blue line and we can expect traffic congestion in this traffic flow. So yeah, so here's main bottleneck. So most of you can see, you know, this kind of main bottleneck point. The second query I would like to introduce is resource allocation. So resource allocation is important during the evacuation. So I'm sure that most of you already you know, see this kind of you know, gas shortage issue. So in this case, most main challenge problem is every service center has a limited resource. And then in that case, we need to wait to obtain this kind of resource. So my question is how to minimize this kind of waiting time to obtain this kind of important vital resources. So here's a mathematical problem formulation given a transportation network and set of some service center. For example, gas station, the output is a service area for each this kind of resource and we'll present the service area using the capacity constraint network Voronoi diagram. I will explain this part later. The objective is to minimize the travel time to reach the service center. The constraint is that every service center has a limited amount of resources. 
So now let me introduce the concept of Voronoi diagram. Given a set of some service center, Voronoi diagram partition the space that can minimize the distance between the service center and then geometry location. That means using Voronoi diagram, if you know the current location and service area, we can quickly see the location of a service center. In transportation network, we can use the shortest path computation and partition the network into the service area. Let's consider an example in figure C. Assume that nodes X, Y, and Z are the location of service center. Figure D show that if you locate in nodes A, B, C, G, H, J, K, and L, then the service center acts the best place to minimize the travel time. However, in this example, if you assume that every service center have, can serve only five customers, then service center X will be congested and then has some resource shortage issue. So here's our suggested solution. We can construct a service area based on the capacity constraint. Figure B show that the size of every service area is the same and we can also minimize the travel time to reach the service center. So here's a real world example. We can see that capacity constraint network Voronoi diagram creates a service area that can minimize the travel time and also satisfy the capacity constraint of every service center. The third query is data mining query. Here's the problem formulation. Given two geometric space and trajectory, the output is the group of a trajectory that can help us to identify interesting trajectory pattern. So let me give us some you know, toy example. Figure A shows two geometric space between two time steps. In this example, point A yeah, move to the left bottom corner yeah, in the, here. And then point E, yeah, move to the right top corner. So in this example, actually, basically, we can group these trajectory and then identify interesting traffic pattern. In figure B show, we can see three group of trajectory. So why it's so useful? So here is the New York taxi trajectory data set in 2016. As you can see, it is hard to understand the pattern of trajectory. Now, if you apply some data mining query in, in our problem formulation, we can clearly see some pattern. In this example, we can see that many people uh, move from uh, John F. Kennedy Airport to the Manhattan. Again, we can see that many people in Manhattan moved to the New York airport. It's very interesting. So now you can see this kinds of you know, trajected data mining identify this kinds of interesting and unexpected pattern. Re research is challenging because we need to identify interesting research problem and develop a novel algorithm to produce the solution of a research problem. I would like to say, if you have a strong motivation, you can do research. Here is some evidence. I work with some undergraduate student and I saw that they can develop a new database system query and data mining algorithm and publish the research paper. I would like to encourage you to join the research world and enjoy the challenging issue. Lastly, I level my presentation. Emergency management system is critical for home defense, but existing method cannot handle large urban scenario. You can see that communities still use handcrafted evacuation plans in 2020. Research is a challenge, but we can earn a reward if, you, if we show our motivation toward a challenging research problem. If you want to save the world and change the world, then I'm sure that you have a very good research problem. Thank you very much.